Dragons, I'm the ruler of the Dragon Kingdom, Dragon Snips, and today we're doing another thrift store episode. Last time I did this uh, thrift store item right here, go check that video out, and this time around I found this really cool horse statue, uh, uh, like uh, my local thrift store, and I wanted to kind of turn it into something else today. This is what it looked like, although this is what it actually looked like when it's done. I've actually already completed this. So this guy right here we will be blurred out, so yeah, so that. But that's like give you a general idea of what we're going to be doing today for this video. So let's go ahead and head out to my art desk and go ahead and customize them now, shall we? So let's get into the video, but my editing style is based on both Mariah and Graveyard editing style. Now with that out of the way, go ahead and pull out the thrift store item that will be customized today. Also, the fact that I decided to take the time to scratch my arm, which is the important thing I need to take care of first. But before moving on to these actual items that need to be customized, besides scratching my arm, here are the items that I'll be painting on today. Here's me shoving it in front of the camera. Nice. Yeah, sure. We really needed an up-close and personal look at the horse. Very good job. Or maybe I was trying to show off the dirt on this thing, because that's just a wonderful to show off to the camera. It's not gross at all. <laughs> Anyways, I pointed out that there's a missing link to all of this. Get it? A missing link? Get it? Uh, uh, Okay, pointing toward the stump of the leg right here. Yeah, sure. I wasn't a complete idiot for dropping it and breaking the leg off. No, uh, th no, that wasn't the case. But it's a good thing I kept the leg. It's right here. And I really have no idea what I'm doing here. Maybe trying to figure out how well the leg will go back on. But before I decided to glue the leg back on, I need to clean this thing because there's all type of dirt on it. After scratching my arm for the second time here. Need some lotion there, buddy? So grabbing out the container of cleaning supplies, just one cleaning supply, I'm not grabbing out a whole box full of cleaning supplies, I yank out the wipe and started cleaning this whole thing, but first scratching arm again. Why am I scratching? This is a thrift store episode, not scratching my whole arm off! Why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless. Anyway, I finally started cleaning this unicorn off and boy was the thing dirty. I really had to dig into area just to clean this thing. I have no idea who owned this thing before I got in it, but they didn't take care of it. Because it was really, 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 really dirty. And for some reason, I decided to show the price tag on the thing. I still haven't taken it off yet. Really need to remove that. I feel like I spent an eternity cleaning the thing. And oh look! I finally removed the price tag on the thing. I decided to show you my dirty wipe for some reason. Why did I decide to show this? I really don't know why I'm doing this. So after admiring my work of cleaning this whole thing, I decided to glue the broken leg back on after I stared at it for way too long. Try to figure out how to place the leg on the figure while my head is in the way. Dude, move your freaking head out of the way. So I spent the time gluing on this leg because I wanted to make sure that the leg wasn't going anywhere. Make sure to not look into the UV light direction. After that, it's time to bring out the big guns. When I mean big guns, I mean this. <laughs> this should look familiar. And we can't forget about the neck thing. Well, that and... Ooh, das! I think I'm saying that right. My favorite air dry clay. Also, this would be important. Let's bring out the clay. So, the reason why I need the air dry clay... Not only will I use it to hide the broken leg on the horse, but I also needed it to use for the wing. Because I didn't feel like using my polymer clay, taking it out of the mold, putting it into the oven, and you're probably already over the fit. To be honest, this was really satisfying to do. I really like putting the air dry clay into the mold. It was really fun. Also, I was really impatient. I really wanted to take these wings out of the mold so bad, but I hold back. So now the wings are out of the mold and the leg is now covered in clay. I did that off camera. Give me, give, me, give me a break, I'm trying here. I also cast out another set of wings just in case one of them didn't turn out right. And it was a good idea. I even looked to see where the wings were to be placed on the figure. But even after all of that, I think it's time to get some sanding done. The process of sanding both wings and the leg took forever. I even did more sanding off camera because it was so much work. There was dust everywhere. On me, my decks, the floor, even though it didn't look like it. Finally, it was time to put the wings on the figure itself. And bringing out the same glue that I used for the leg. Watch out for the UV light here. Now I know that when I'm gluing down the wings, they do look a bit off. I didn't realize that until it was too late. But nobody is going to notice, right? So once the gluing is done, it's time to bring out the big guy one more time. Ah yeah, that. Das is here once again. I wanted to hide the fact that the wing wasn't part of the figure, so I started putting the clay onto the wing just to make it look like the wings were part of the figure. I have no idea what I'm saying. 
Ah, yes. Sculpting the clay onto the figure is so great. Making sure the clay is on the wing and figure just to hide the sim. While not showing it. Dude, we can't see what we're looking at. Move the figure back. And my head is in the way. What the actual frick? Finally, you guys can see what I'm doing here. Here it is. Now it's time to leave it to dry. A few moments later. I've already have it open on my decks. Now it's time to paint this figure. The only thing I'm sad about is that I have to, to paint over the oil gas look on the figure. Don't know if you're able to see that look. But sadly, I have to paint it over. So I started painting the one side of the figure to show the difference between the painted side and non-painted side. See the difference? Now it's time to paint the other side of it right now. Completed painting the side now. Say goodbye to that beautiful gloss. Now it's matte now. But before we get on to the rest of the painting, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to check out my social media and my store. I post art to my social media that you don't get to see on my channel. There is a link tree to all my social media and store in the description below. Or you can go to my channel and find my link in the channel art above the video. Anyway, back to the video. Now time to paint over the figure with black paint now. Which I probably should have painted it over first. The only thing that I regret painting over with black is the horn. Because it took forever to paint the horn red because I painted over the horn with black. Does that make sense? So once the horse is completely covered in black, I did put the red on the horn. But I need some layer of red on the horn. So while I waited for the horn to dry, time to paint the cloud. Now I could have leave the cloud white and just leave it like that. But I decided to paint it over with gray color. But now my head is in the frame for the most of the painting. I really need to figure out a way to keep my head out of the frame. That way, you guys can see what I'm doing and not have my head blocking the majority of my progress. So my head is going to be in frame for the majority of the painting of the cloud. But here is where my head is in the frame. Thank the golden drag is a forgotten land. Oh wait, no, my head is still in the frame. Frick. I'm going to apologize for my head being in the frame for the rest of the video. Hope you can see the majority of the art. So, after painting the clouds gray, I went ahead and used a brand new paint that I bought a while ago. And I got to tell you guys, I really like these parallel paint that I bought at Myers. Despite my head being in frame, I pretty much dry brushed the parallel color down on the clouds. And finally, it's time to add the vinyl finishing to the figure. I grab up my airbrush, which should look familiar. This came from Nerdy Crafter's second craft kit. I really love this airbrush, but I need to get some more paint since I'm running out. But I used the red that I have to add some red to the legs, wings, mane, and tail on the horse. I also added red to the chest and stomach on the horse as well. I almost forgot to mention that. Then I went ahead and used the alcohol ink that I got from the Nerdy Crafted Fist Kit. I still have this and I use it for the mane and tail on the horse. Also I put it on the wings on the horse as well. But I forgot to mention to you guys, I did this off camera. So I'll recreate this part. <laughs> Use the ink on the horse mane, tail, wings, and after I finished the airbrushing, then I went ahead and after I used the ink, I, I put the gloss varnish down on the horse to protect my project. And once all of that is done, the project is finally done. There. End of video. On to the montage.
and you can finally get to see what he looked like. And he's done. He's completely done. I really love how this guy turned out. And I love the colors and the blending. Although the one thing I don't like is that there's a little bit of red on the clouds. I try not to get red on the cloud, but you can't win them all. But yeah, he's completely done, and I'm going to set him somewhere out safely. But that's going to be it for me, dragons. If you want to check this video out over here, don't forget to check it out. And don't forget to check out this video right here. And I'll catch you, dragons, next week. Bye, dragons! Living life every day, let it die, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror, so foggy.